Hi Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your tarot messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the week. Um, it is going to be a general one. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Let's go ahead, Cappies, and take a look at what's coming in for you. Okay, the devil, but it's come up in reverse. going to start with the Queen of Swords here first because I feel like she's inviting for you to uh, seek the truth okay look for the truth the truth is hidden in plain sight okay so however you want to do this there is something here that you're being uh, a little bit dishonest about okay or I feel like it's you might be a little bit dishonest with yourself about a certain situation about yourself um, about your current energies, your current emotional state, but the queen of, um, or someone that you're in a relationship or in a connection with, whether it's romantic, professional, or otherwise, is being dishonest with you. So the queen of swords energy is asking for you to get to the bottom of things, seek and speak your truth, okay? Because it is, it's hidden in plain sight. Um, there's been something that's that's been keeping you stuck for far too long, or there's been some sort of setback, some sort of delays that you've been experiencing. I feel like it's on a repeat basis. And for some of you, I feel like there's something here that it has been very cyclical. Whether they're emotional or behavioral patterns. Whether it's you having the same type of romantic relationships or the same type of experiences just with different people. But essentially, it has this... It all feels very much the same. It all feels and looks the same. Okay, so the reason uh, behind that is that essentially there is something here that I feel like is with the devil in reverse. There's something here that is. It's an energy that is fear based. Okay, and there is a fear, an insecurity, um, uh, and uh, perhaps uh, an anxiety of some sort that is keeping you immobilized uh is keeping you stuck or it's it's it keep it's ensuring that you keep making the same type of moves or the same type of choices or decisions or seeking the same type of relationships okay there were different partners but they're the same type of experiences again and again and again and this is essentially coming from this fee-based energy okay because um you know maybe you want you know, maybe you want a healthy relationship, but instead you uh, subconsciously you seek out toxic partners or you seek out partners who have toxic traits um, or yet you choose to stay in a toxic relationship despite wanting a healthy one. Um, you know, maybe you have this goal to lose weight and yet you keep indulging in this, um, you know, you keep excessively indulging in eating food, especially food that's not necessarily healthy to your diet intake. Um, or maybe you're someone who wants to get in shape, but you're not necessarily, um, the, the actions that you take and the food that you eat is very jeopardizing and it compromises your, you know, your lifestyle and your workout routine. So there's something that I feel like is driven from, uh, and it's, it could be an emotional behavioral pattern that I feel like is uh, buried. It's like it's coming from a deep place within you. It's coming from a subconscious place. Um, but the thing is, I feel like it's fee-based, okay? You might want something, 
but you're scared of it okay or you know you might want to succeed but at the same time you might be very fearful of success and what that might hold for you you might want this relationship to work but at the same time you're ignoring the fact that the both of you are very toxic to each other or you know you want to get healthy but at the same time you're you know um, you're so indulgent in your own habits in your own you know cyclical patterns of behavior in your own um, routine that you know you you fail to see you know you fail to see that your actions are what's sabotaging yourself and the very goal that you want to meet so the devil in reverse shows up because you need to free yourself essentially for, from what's keeping you shackled, okay? And what's what's keeping you living in fear. And there's something here that I feel like you're giving away your power to. Whether the devil represents, um, you know, an, an emotionally, mentally, or physical abusive partner, okay? Someone who then has this form of control over you and someone who, you know, with everything that they say and that they, they do, they like to uh, manipulate and they like to exercise a certain level of control over you or whether it's you giving your power away to, you know, a certain vice. So you eating um, unhealthy or you, you know, indulging in any unhealthy, I don't know, it could be any, um, you know, it could be excessively drinking or smoking, gambling, anything that you know. It, that you know isn't healthy for you but if you feel powerless against it because you feel like and the reason why you feel powerless against it because you have given your power away to this very thing and you've allowed for it to take control over you you're no longer controlling your actions it's controlling you so the devil he has come in reverse is asking for you to free yourself of any negativity any negative influences any negative energies any negative emotional behavioral patterns he that are hindering you, that are hindering your growth as an individual, that are hindering the growth of, you know, um, your progression, the growth of your relationships. Um, so you need to take important steps in essentially making a change. It starts with you. You also have to be very patient with yourself because you know the sabotaging behavior that you might be indulging in it's coming from you're not just doing it to to do it it's it's something that you've been doing on a repeated basis it's something that's very cyclical but it's also coming from a deep dark place within you so now's the time to embrace some of these qualities that you don't find you know so endearing about yourself some of these qualities that or about another person it's time to embrace it and it's time to confront that also be uh, be very patient with this process be very patient with this journey and this part of the journey that you're at right now because it is going to take some confronting it is going to take you know you it is going to mean you might have to do some shadow work you might have to do some inner work you might have to confront and embrace the you know the darker and shadower aspects of your personality of your individual self or of this person's individual self but that's what's going to get you to grow. That's what's going to get this relationship to grow. That's what's going to get you to go to the places that, you know, you need to get to. Um, the Three of Wands indicates that right now you're on the edge of a precipice, okay? But you've been afraid to take action. Or the action that you have been taking lately has been very fear-based. Has been coming from a place of insecurity, jealousy, um, uh, anxiety. It's just, you know, it's very fearful. Um, and you feel like... It's not you. It's this very thing that's controlling you. So now it's time to take back your power. This is why I wanted to begin with the Queen of Swords because she's someone who seeks the truth. It's time for you to be blunt with yourself because I feel like that's the, or be blunt with this person, wh whoever this person is, because I feel like that's the only way you're going to receive the message. Because for far too long, you know what you're doing is not healthy, or you know the relationship you're in is not healthy, or you know the very things that you're engaging in is isn't healthy for you you're doing it because it's familiar you're doing it because it's a habit it's a pattern it's a paradigm it's a cycle and you you know it's a spiral perhaps you're doing it because it's it's you know it's the sense of familiarity is a sense of it brings in a sense of normality for you it's all you've ever known and it feels normal and it feels familiar to you um, but you know that it's causing a negative influence in your life so now is the time to confront it okay and just because it's you know 
I think people throw the word or throw the the toxic word around uh, very freely these days, um, just because someone you know might have toxic uh, traits, it doesn't necessarily make them uh, you know this dangerous person. Um, it I feel like it just means that, that they may have you know whether it's yourself or whether it's you know this person who whoever this is for you in your life it doesn't necessarily mean that you know they're toxic or they're poisonous I, I mean they could be but it just means that they may not you know they have shadow aspects of themselves that they haven't embraced and they haven't worked on okay so whatever this is it's time that you know it needs addressing it's time that it needs confronting because you're absolutely on this three of wands you know on this energy of um, on the verge of this growth and expansion and you know moving forward and ascending and accelerating but in order for you to do that you're going to have to you know every step every journey begins with the steps that you take towards this destination and some of these steps that you have been taking have been getting you nowhere. So it's now time to, you know, to, to start walking towards your truth. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.